Yes, obviously this is a verdict that uh, we will respect and uh, we respect the judicial process. I have to say I strongly disagree uh, with what the justices have found. Uh, I don't think that uh, it's right, uh, but we will go ahead and, of course, Parliament will come back. Uh, I do think there's a, a good case for getting on with a, a Queen's speech anyway, and we'll do that. Um, but I think the most important thing is we get on and deliver Brexit on October the 31st. And there's clearly a, the claimants in this case are determined to try to, to frustrate that and to, and to stop that. I think it'd be very unfortunate if Parliament made that uh, objective, which the people want delivered, more, more difficult. But we'll, we'll get on. You say you want to get on with the Queen's speech, but you can't prorogue. The court found that would be unlawful and undemocratic at this time. Well, I'm not certain that the justices did say that. I'm, I think that they uh, certainly thought that uh, the prorogation that we chose uh, was not something that they uh, could approve of. I, it's an unusual uh, judgment to, to come to. In, in my view, Parliament has used prorogation for... Uh, many, you know, the, the, pro, the prerogative of prorogation is a very old one and it's not, uh, I think, been contested before in this way. Uh, the main thing is, look, we're going to get on and deliver Brexit on October the 31st. Yes, of course, uh, Parliament will now have to come back, but, you know, we'll respect that and get on with it. So you mean to press ahead with a fresh, as it were, prorogation? even though the court has given the verdict, the highly critical verdict that it has, because as of now, Parliament is still sitting in session. Yes, that's, that's right. But uh, I don't think that the justices remotely excluded the possibility of having a, a, a Queen's speech. But what we will certainly do is ensure that Parliament has plenty of time to debate Brexit. Parliament's been debating Brexit for, for three years solidly. Um, now's the chance for us to get a deal, uh, come out of the EU on October the 31st, and that's what we're going to do. The court found that your actions were not only unlawful, but essentially undemocratic. Do you not feel some, some form of, some expression of regret or even apology might be required? Well, as I say, I strongly disagree with this uh, decision of the, of the Supreme Court. I have the utmost respect for our judiciary. I don't think this was the right decision. I think that uh, the prerogative of prorogation has been used for, for centuries uh, without this kind of uh, without this kind of challenge. It's perfectly usual to have a, a Queen's speech. That's what we want to do. But more importantly, let's be in no doubt, uh, there are a lot of people who want to frustrate Brexit. There are a lot of people who basically want to stop this country coming out of the EU. And we have a, a parliament that is unable to uh, be prorogued, is unable to, uh, doesn't want to have an election. Uh, and I think it's time we took things forward. You say you won't extend Brexit, but how do you avoid doing that now? You've run out of options. Well, on the contrary, uh, the, uh, the law, as the law currently stands, uh, the UK leaves the EU on October the 31st, uh, come what may. But the interesting thing, that will, the exciting thing for us now is to, is to get a, a good deal, and that's what we're working on. And no, I'll be honest with you, John, it's not made much easier by this kind of stuff in, in, in Parliament or in, in the courts. Obviously, getting a deal is not made uh, much easier against this uh, background, but we're going to get on and do it. Just finally, you say, as the law stands, we leave on October the 31st. That's not true, is it? As the law stands, we cannot leave with no deal on October the 31st without the permission of Parliament. Well, uh, as the law stands, uh, we leave on October the 31st. And I'm very uh, hopeful that we will get a deal. And I think what the people of the, of the country want is to see uh, parliamentarians coming together, uh, working on, uh, in the national interest, to get this thing done. And that's what we're going to do.